Dear Abby, written on June 26, 2017. Right now, I am sitting in a coffee shop rereading your letter for the hundredth time. It fills me with warmth every time. In any relationship, there will always be trials that will test the bond between two people. With you, I am confident that we can meet these challenges together. Dear John, I just wanted to tell you that, as always, I love you. I'm so proud of you for everything you're taking on in life. I know you don't feel this way sometimes, but you have taken on a whole lot in such stride. Let's see what else I can write. I'm just rambling, really. I just want you to know how special you are to me. You constantly make me feel loved and appreciated. I feel like I'm home when we're together, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So it has been my absolute pleasure. You guys are a fantastic couple. I can't think of truly a better person to be by her side through all that and bring all of that out in her and more than Sir John. sounds cliche, but those of you who I immediately texted after we met to know this, <laughs> I just had this feeling that I could not explain. My suspicions were shortly confirmed as I ran out of your car on our first date, not even giving you an opportunity to make a move because I was so <laughs> nervous over how much I liked someone inexplicably that I just met two days ago. Meeting you on March 24th, 2017 is truly one of the best moments of my life. Despite being my last day of medical school, a great occasion, the only thing I can remember was thinking about you, this beautiful, curly-haired, blue-eyed woman who walked into my life and sat at my table, and a Facebook friend requested me an hour later. <laughs> With the touch of your hand on my arm and the slight tilt of your head. I never would have expected to meet somebody so caring and warm, brilliant and truly extraordinary. And with time, you even learn how to put on toilet paper on the whole day the proper way. <laughs> as you guys all know, one of the smartest and most accomplished human beings that I have the privilege of knowing. I don't know if you guys know, they wrote each other love letters because they had, you know, trials from the start where um, John was away. I promise to respect you, cherish you, support you, laugh, and cry with you, <laughs> and maybe go crazy sometimes. <laughs> You are my soulmate, you're my home forever. And I know that whatever life and loss lie ahead of us, there is nothing that we can't get through together. I will love you until my heart stops beating and beyond until the end of time. So on this day, I vow to stand with you and meet whatever challenges may come our way. I vow to respect and honor you always and to be honest with you to make you laugh, to try to make you the best person, just like you made me the best person I can be. I will love you forever and always. Yeah.